Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Sinnoh Starter Battles. The last time we did Torterra, Torterra did pretty good the first battle, but Torterra is kind of hard to use, especially with its many weaknesses. So now we're going to try out Infernape, and this is a substitute set that I found on the QR code team. Um, it's got Substitute, it's got Blast Burn, Grass Knot, and Fake Out. So I'm interested in trying that out. We have also got Aegislash with Shadow Ball, Substitute, Toxic, King Shield. Um, Crustal with Shell, Shell Smash, Counter, Rock Blast, Rock Wrecker. Um, Tapu Koko has Dazzling Gleam, Thunderbolt, Thunder, and Echoed Voice. Axorus has Guillotine, Superpower, Iron Tail, and Outrage. And Porygon Z has Uproar, Hyper Beam, Dark Pulse, and Trick. And it's also got the F Choice Scarf. We could trick that onto a, like a defensive wall if we have to. So let's go ahead and see what we're going to face. Let's change the music to something. Uh, this one, Gladion. I haven't heard that, heard that one in a while. And let's go ahead and see what we're facing. Sophia is in here still. She fell asleep though. She, she lays right there and just sleeps. So what do we have? So I think. Infernape will do pretty good here. The only thing I need to really worry about is Garchomp. Oregon 2 could have like Psychic. I've seen that before. Um, yeah, I think that's really the biggest things to worry about. But I'm going to actually lead with Tapu Coco. Bring Infernape and. I guess I'll bring. Um, I might try out Crustle. I haven't used Crustle in a while. Yeah, I'll bring Crustle. Alright, so let's see what my opponent is bringing. Mr. Q. Garchomp. Alright. We're going to leave Tapu Coco. So, hoping we outspeed. If we don't outspeed, then the whole team is going to be swept. Do I have anything for this crystal? All right, so we're going to just Dazzling Gleam. Try to get as much damage as we can. Oh, so this is Mega Garchomp. So it's going to slow itself down because Garchomp's one of those Megas that actually gets slowed when it Mega Evolves. But it gets it gets some decent bulk, but it's not enough. Not enough for this Garchomp. Alright, so we, we've taken out the biggest threat to our, <laughs> in, our entire Infernape sweep. So, whatever comes in now, we're just going to let it take Tapu Koko out. Tapu Coco will... okay, so we need to do something about Tapu Coco, though. Um, I'm just going to... I could Dazzling Gleam... yeah, I'm stuck in Dazzling Gleam, I've got Choice Backs. Alright, so we're going to trade Dazzling Gleams. Mine probably will do more, unless this is a Choice Backs when I'm facing. Yeah, but it's going to go down anyway, so we're just going to let Tapu Coco go down and let's see that crustal I think Bernape's still the best thing to bring in here yeah I'm going to fake out come on Infernape it is your time to shine so if you remember um, the diamond nuzlocke our starter is we picked was Chimchar we named him Chips so this is chips here. All right, so the flinch. I think. I mean, I don't know if we can do substitute because I'm just going grass knot though. Oh, this is this is probably going to take infernate out. I'm pretty sure it is. We're going to take a and the uh, um, Gigavolt Havoc. And I think it's going to be enough. 
to take out our poor chips. Oh, gross. Completely devastated them. But the electricity has disappeared. We've got Crustal. That's, that's it. That's our last Pokemon is Crustal. Now, what can Crustal even do? And Crustal's got Rock Blast. We got Shell Smash. I'm just Shell Smashing. Alright, Volt Switch. Alright, so we're going to get Rock. Um, the Shell Smash. I don't know how fast Crustal is. I know Crustal is slow. Where are you on, too? Download's going to raise its special attack. Alright, so... What can we do? We can go for the Rock-type move, because we have the Hard Stone. I think that's our best bet. Rock. What's Rock Wrecker? How much is that? 150. But it can't move the next turn. I think Rock Blast right now probably be our best bet. Wow, that's not doing hardly anything. Hope we get all five hits. That's what we're going to need. Alright, so... Thunderbolt. This might actually take us out. Yeah, that's going to take us out. So, we kind of lost that one. Maybe next... Next battle, we'll have better luck. Maybe Infernape will actually do some more for us. Yeah, maybe we, hmm, maybe we should lead Infernape. Oh, their Tabu Koko leading was the best thing we could have done, though, because of Garchomp. We're going to try this, try this team again. This actually looked like the best team. And we'll continue the battle. Alright, so... What do we have? Alright, so, um... See, Tapu Koko, Tapu Koko could be a threat, and Salamance could be a threat. Greninja is the biggest threat, though. But I think... We need to lead Coco again. Bring Infernape. And I think we need to bring Porygon. Yeah, I think that's the best bet that we have. Um, that Greninja. So there's three Pokemon on this team that could completely destroy our Infernape. Infernape does not want to go up against Blaziken either, because Blaziken is... Not going to take that much from our Grass Knot or Blast Fur. So I think Tapu Koko is the best thing to lead with. Um, hmm. And I think that's the best thing we've got. Alright, so Tapu Koko versus Tapu Koko. Um, let's see how things go for us. So, alright, so we're going, so his Tapu Koko's faster. Gotta keep that in mind. Unless it's a um, speed tie. Um, I'm just going to Dazzling Gleam. I don't know what he could try to go for, but I doubt it's an electric move. We might trade Dazzling Gleams. He might switch. Not sure what he would switch in to take a Dazzling Gleam. That'd be awesome if he switches in Salamence. Salamence is gone. First turn. Oh, so you've got um, Gigavolt Havoc too, don't you? Everyone's just hitting each other with Gigavolt Havoc. I think we should probably live that. I hope. At least, I'm not sure. Wow. 
Wow, okay, that's going to take it. Oh, 24, we're, we're living barely. We have barely lived. But, um... Um... Alright, so... Should we save you for the Salamant? Actually, I don't think so. Because I think... Alright, so we're going to trade Dazzling Gleams. This should take me out. Infernate can come in now and fake out. We have to fake out because if we don't, we're going to either take a powerful electric type move or we could take a volt switch. I think fake out's the safest thing here. Alright, so the withdrawal. Salamance coming out, of course. There's not much we can really do to Salamance. Salamance might actually win him the game. Wow, Infernape's not got much use to us. Maybe... He might be faster, I'm not sure. No, Infernape's pretty good speed. We might try one more battle, but switch out what team we're going to battle with, because this Infernape's one trick. It's just got one trick. Substitute, and then Blast Burn, but it's not going to do any good if we can't even substitute, because there's so many... Alright, we're taking a double edge, we're out. Infernape is gone. So let's get ready for... Um, a better Infernate team. We're stuck with Porygon. I'm not sure if we outspeed because, um, well, I mean, we have the Choice Scarf, so we might outspeed. There's not really that many great, great Infernate teams. This one seems like it's got the best hope, though, so after this, I'm gonna try out this Infernate team. Uh, I'm just going to Uproar. I can't trick because because this thing's already got the Mega Stone. All right, so what what's coming out? Electricity has disappeared. He still has the Tapu Koko. All right, so Tapu Koko might have no. Actually, we should outspeed Tapu Koko because we have the Choice Scarf. We should. Yeah, so we're outspeeding. We're causing an uproar. We're going to take out Tapu Koko. What's his last Pokemon? Man, Porygon Z is actually doing a lot of work here. Got some. Right, Mamoswine. Wow, Mamoswine might actually take the uproar, though. This would have been really nice to have our, um, Infernape. Okay, so Mamoswine takes that. We're going to take an Earthquake. Can we live it? I'm not making any promises. Nope, we're down. Alright, so we're going to change the team that we're using. Actually, let me see. All right, so this Infernape looks a little bit better. It's got... It's more of a... Wow, okay, so this is interesting. It's got... Um, this is a total support Infernape. We're going to try it out because I want to try out a different Infernape than just substitute Blast Burn Infernape. But this one's probably not going to do that much. But we're going to bring it just in case. And, I mean, this one's got some other Pokemon to help it out, too. I think some better Pokemon, that is, too. We're gonna go ahead and try it out. See how it works. This is Support Infernate. It's got Rock Tomb, Will Wisp. It's got um, Stealth Rocks and Encore. 
We're gonna try it out. We, maybe we can encore something into like a weird setup move. Actually, I think that's what this is set up for. You lead with this. They they're like, wow, this person led with simple infernape. Probably going to switch. I'm just going to Swords Dance. You encore. They're stuck in Swords Dance. You can Will O Wisp. You can Rock Tomb to slow them down, and even get up Stealth Rocks, which I might not do because Stealth Rocks better in like a 6v6 setting. Oh, and we're ready to battle. So let's go ahead and look at what we got. We got um, Alakazam, Clefable, Marowak, Gyarados, um, Arcanine, and Venusaur. So I think. Now this thing has Aqua Jet, so I think we need to bring the Azumarill. Infernape, of course, we're going to lead with Infernape. We need some fast Pokemon, but... Actually, yeah, we might bring Feramosa, too. Yeah, I think Feramosa would be pretty good here. Because Feramosa's fast. Infernape's decently fast. Speed, I think uh, I don't have its speed stat. I probably I'll, I'll oh Sophia I'll probably pull like talk about its speed stat in the actual um, Sinnoh starters ranked video. But here we're just going to do it this way. Gyarados. All right. So let me guess. Dragon Dance maybe. Intimidate. Are you going for Dragon Dance? That would be awesome. Alright, we have to risk it. We have to risk it. Alright, the withdrawal. Okay. Arcanine. I'll double Intimidate. So I'm just going to Stealth Rocks, I guess. Because I see how this team's going to function. It's going to be a lot of switching to get Intimidate. We're going to take a close combat. We should take that fairly well. Nice. And we're faster, too. So... I'm just going to Rock Tomb. Get it set up for Azumarill to come in. Get some work done. Alright, so... The CF Infernape has done enough for us to get the victory here. Azumarill comes in. We're going to Belly Drum. And then hopefully we can get some sort of sweep. I'm just going to go ahead, Billy Drum. Alright, so the withdrawal with Gyarados probably. Yeah, Gyarados coming in. We're going to Belly Drum and then play rough on the Gyarados. That's what we're going to do. Alright, so let's go ahead and play rough. That would be the best thing for us to go for right now. We're going to take an Earthquake. Can we live this? Can we live an Earthquake? Yeah, we're living this. We are living an Earthquake. Alright, so we're going to play rough. This should... Uh, yeah, this should take out Gyarados. Wow, so we're probably going to get a sweep, hopefully. Hopefully. I know Arcanine probably will outspeed us now. But we have Aqua Jet, too. Venusaur. Ah. The one thing that could ruin our sweep. So. We're maxed attack, though. Let's see what Pheromosa's packing. Bug Buzz, Focus Blast, Ice Beam, Quiver Dance. Um, 
Okay, I think we have to let Azumarill go down. Then we can Ice Beam. We're just waterfalling. Maybe we'll get the flinch. Maybe we'll get the flinch. Alright, so this is a Mega Venusaur, so it's going to take the Ice Beam a lot better than what I was hoping. Alright, so we're going to take a Giga Drain. This thing is faster. Our Azumarill. And we're going to bring in Pheromosa. Ah. <laughs> and Pheromosa do the trick here. Um, we were going to go for Ice Beam, but Ice Beam might not do the trick. Not, it's probably the best bet. Bug Buzz or Ice Beam? Uh, I don't know if we can do Quiver Dance, not with a Venusaur here. Let me look at your stats real quick, Faramosa. So you're not taking much of anything. Wait, let me double check real quick. Sorry. 202 attack. Special attack, I mean. I think, I think we have to Bug Buzz. With Thick Fat, we need to Bug Buzz. Alright, so that's not going to do the trick. We're going to take a Sludge Bomb. This might take us out. Um, unfortunately, we tried a different team, but Infernape just wasn't good enough to seal a victory. So unfortunately, yeah, Infernape didn't get even knock anything out. Infernape's just, it's it's good, it's got good stats, it's just, it's just easy to play around because, well maybe it just might be the sets that I've found because like a full-on attacking set should be able to take something out, but none of these were all full-on attacking sets, they're all support sets, which, honestly, I, I I want to run a support in Fernate because its defenses are just not good enough to be a support Pokemon, I don't think. I mean, it gets good moves like, as you see, Encore and Stealth Rocks, but it's just stat-wise, you have to just, you have to plan around any Pokemon that could take it out just to make it work for you as a support Pokemon. I've seen it work before, but it's just much more difficult than just doing an all-out offensive set so whenever we do like a starter like a pokemon returns battle we might try infernape again and this time i'll like have an all-out attacking infernape but for now infernape just wasn't none of these infernapes were good enough to win us not even to take anything out so if you like this give it a thumbs up subscribe and next time we're going to try out empoleon Hope to see you there.